Welcome to the ACS Daily News for May 4th, 2017. The Attleboro Council on Aging welcomed Police Chief Kyle Hegney and the Problem-Oriented Policing Unit to the Larson Senior Center last Wednesday for their first Breakfast with the Chief. There, Chief Hegney fielded questions and concerns from seniors. We spoke with him to learn more. We're here today at the Council on Aging, uh, the Larson Center, uh, for Breakfast with the Chief. And uh, we had a fabulous breakfast. I was able to speak to uh, many of the uh, senior citizens that uh, attended the event today. I was invited here by, uh, by Madeline, the uh, director. She um, wanted to uh, have some type of outreach from the police department to the senior citizens. The idea that was, uh, was coined was uh, breakfast with the chief. So, um, so we had breakfast and uh, I was able to speak to the people who uh, attended. It was a, an open and healthy dialogue and it was great getting the feedback of their concerns, issues, problems and also reinforcing that the work that we're doing is, is, is truly working. In our society, I have coined this term or, uh, or use of uh, Crime Inc., Crime Incorporated. And what I say Crime Incorporated does is they look for opportunity. And unfortunately, they sometimes prey on our senior citizens to perpetrate scams. As troubling as it may be, some elderly are very trusting and they are separated from their money and funds by these, by these scams, and it may be uh, a loved one has been kidnapped in a ransom scam, or uh, please be advised, you, your, your grandson or granddaughter has been arrested and they need bail money, please wire bail money, or it might be some other type of um, reward scam, such as you, you won this, um, please send us uh, $500 or $5,000 and we're gonna send you the $50,000 that you won, so they buy into it because sometimes they're so trusting they tend not to stop, ask, verify, and, and they jump. And it's troubling to me, as this chief of police, that somebody would you know, perpetrate that crime on the elderly. So we, we discussed that. Um, we went over several of the, uh, the, the most recent scams that are uh, uh, affecting our community, and uh, more or less to, to be aware. And it really comes down to is that verify, ask, seek help, but have a jaundice eye. If it sounds too good, it probably is too good, and it's probably a scam. We're excited to uh, collaborate with the Council on Aging. We're going to uh, launch a drug tape back initiative. Um, this is different from the, uh, the national event that happens every year, supported by the DEA and local police departments. We're actually going to uh, establish uh, an event every other month, and the first uh, the first one's happening uh, Tuesday, June 27th, from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., where anybody could drop off their prescription uh, medications for disposal. The problem oriented problem police team, the POP team, will be here to facilitate that. The uh, location is the Senior Center, located on South Main Street. And uh, if anybody has old uh, ph pharmaceutical uh, medications, pills, and what have you, um, we will take them and uh, we will destroy them. They can always call the, uh, the Attleboro Police Department at 222-1212. And if, um, if they need uh, other services, we, we do make house calls. So we can come out to them, or if they're able to, they can come to the police station. We can also do follow-up uh, by appointment with the POP team. So if they call the police department, the 222-1212 line, um, on the phone tree, the uh, POP unit is listed and they'll be uh, uh, transferred over to the POP team and they could uh, speak to Sergeant Baudet. That's it for today's update. For ACS News, I'm Austin Ricketts.